Okay, folks, let's find out how, how a petroleum engineer would calculate the volume of oil in a reservoir. Finding and producing oil is just not good enough. The oil has to be found in large enough quantities to make it economically feasible to the oil company to produce. Uh, first, let's start out by discussing porosity. Porosity is what? Porosity is the pore space that can hold the hydrocarbons, the oil or the natural gas that we hope to find and produce. So the definition of porosity is total pore volume in a sample rock divided by total pore volume, pores and solids, of the sample rock. Uh, the equation, of course, measures absolute porosity. Now, in the oil industry, we typically refer to porosity as effective porosity. Effective porosity is the percentage of the bulk volume of a rock sample that is composed of interconnected pore spaces that allow the passage of fluid through the sample. Okay, let's look at how a petroleum engineer might calculate oil in place. Uh, suppose that a geologist or an engineer discovered a reservoir that has an aerial extent of 2 million square feet with a pay zone thickness of 30 feet. Uh, the, fo the following steps should be followed. First, you would uh, uh, look at uh, the aerial extent, which is 2 million square feet, and you would mark multiply it by the thickness of that reservoir, which is 30 feet. Uh, 2 million times 30 would equal 6 times 10 to the 7th cubic feet. Now, if the porosity of the sand is 20%, then the volume available for the fluids would be 0.2 times 6 times 10 to the 7th, which would equal 12 times 10 to the 6th cubic feet. If there are no other fluids other than oil, then 12 times 10 to 6 cubic feet is the volume of oil in place. Oil-filled sandstones values typically range from 5 to 30 percent porosity. Let's look at the factors that affect porosity in a sandstone reservoir. Number one, packing. The size of the sand grains do not affect porosity. However, the range of variation of sand grains affect porosity. Size of sand grains might affect effective porosity. Uh, number two, shape. If sand grains within a reservoir are elongated or flat and are packed together with their flat surfaces together, then porosity might be low compared with the reservoir with spherical shaped sand grains. And number three, deposition, uh, which is the arrangement in which grains were laid down and compacted, the amount of clay and other materials that cement the sand grains together. In a typical oil field, fluids consist of conate water, oil, and free gas. For example, a piece of sandstone has a bulk volume of 100 cubic feet and a porosity of 15 percent. Then the pore volume is 15 cubic feet. It might be that the pore volume is 40 percent filled with water and 60 percent filled with oil. In this case, the volume of water present is 0.4 times 15, or 6 cubic feet. And the volume of oil present is 0.6 times 15, or 9 cubic feet. The water saturation equals volume filled by water divided by pore volume. The oil saturation equals volume filled by oil divided by total pore volume. If oil and water are the only fluids present, then S sub W plus S sub O equals 1 total pore volume. As a rule of thumb, SW tends to increase as porosity decreases. Since Water saturation plus oil saturation equals 1, 
then oil saturation equals 1 minus S sub W, water saturation, which would equal 0.7. If we go back to problem 1 where we calculated total pore volume to equal 12 times 10 to the 6 cubic feet, then if water oil saturation would equal 0.7, the volume of oil in place would be 8.4 times 10 to the 6 cubic feet. In many oil pools, in addition to oil, conate water, free gas is also present. Gas saturation is equal to the volume of free gas divided by total pore volume. In a formation that contains conate water, oil, and free gas, oil saturation plus water saturation plus gas saturation equals 1. So using problem 1, if water saturation is 30%, gas saturation is 20%, then oil saturation would equal 1 minus 30% minus 20%, and that would equal 50% then the volume of oil in place would be 12 times 10 to the 6 times 50 percent, which would equal 6 times 10 to the 6 cubic feet.